On March 4, 2009, a rally was held in support of the International Criminal Court decision to issue an arrest warrant for Omar Bashir, the President of Sudan, for war crimes in Darfur and crimes against humanity. Uh, we have a rally in uh, support of the ICC decision to indict uh, President Bashir and everybody excited about that and we're trying to show our support and also we feel that you know this is a long awaited decision and we hope that you know the people inside Sudan especially the Darfur being protected uh, from the uh, attack by the government army and the January. So everybody here trying to show the support for the ICC decision and also it's a present concern about the security of the people inside Darfur. In this video, the Darfuris and their friends find a pro Omar Bashir counter rally waiting for them. As the situation crumbles, Police rush to put up the barricades and decide to move the counter rally across the street. <laughs> in Khartoum That's right. yes. 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 and the president yes. Omar Bashir yes. that's why we're here yes. because we want justice to be done yes. justice, justice. It, is, it, is, it is totally unacceptable to any human being and I'm sure unacceptable to the people even across the street Yes, yes, that's right. For people to be killed anywhere. We must stand united today to see what's happening in Darfur. There is a genocide that has been taking place for far too long. Five years in counting. There is a denial of this genocide existing. We have seen what happens when genocide happens. Exactly. Look around you, my friends. There is denial existing at this moment of genocide of the Darfurian people. Omar al-Bashir is guilty of genocide. It is not too late to stop this. We have heard the people in Darfur do not have a choice right now. The choice must be made here, where we have the voice to speak for those that are suffering genocide. The people's choices in Darfur is whether you will get killed, collecting firewood, or you will get raped. That is your choice in Darfur. I remember when President Milosevic of Serbia laughed at the charges. And that he stood trial. I remember when Charles Taylor of Liberia, the architect of the atrocities in Sierra Leone, laughed at his charges, and now he is out of power. And I remember when Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic thought he would never be caught, and now he is in custody awaiting trial. Yes. As Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. has said, the arc of the moral universe is very long, but it bends toward justice. Today, it is bending just a little bit more.
hopefully they'll be able to arrest him sooner than later because he's a vindictive man and he will probably commit some act of revenge or another and once again it'll be unarmed civilians that suffer and once again it'll be people that uh, need the protection of the United Nations but still aren't getting it after all these years. This final clip is at the end of the rally. It shows an arrest taking place after some people from the counter rally walked across the street to instigate a confrontation. A female officer was knocked down as a wave of officers moved in to stop the fighting. <laughs> Oh, 